Hey, hello again, Nugs of Wisdom. Just want to drop some jewels with you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you are in the world. My topic today, are you willing to lose to win? Let's talk about it. Welcome back. Why are it? Like share hit the notification bell for new content guys please subscribe 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 youtube has been playing with the numbers people subscribe they don't subscribe them for some reason so i'm gonna need y'all please do a hbo special help a brother out to subscribe and get less so let's get these numbers up this i got to Basically, you know, I sometimes talk very fast, but I'm going to really slow down today because I want you to really let this actually sink in. Are you willing to lose to win? Let's give us a quick backdrop. Matthew, chap, Ma, the book of Matthew, chapter 10. I'm going to read verse 38 and 39. That he that taketh not his cross and follow after me. He is not worthy of me. He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. Are you willing to lose to win? Naturally, nobody likes losing anything. I think we know this concept, I think we understand it, but I don't think, I think we have a head knowledge of it, but it's not really entered into our spirit yet. For you to enter into some things in life, some things have to shift, some things have to change. You almost have to have what we call a mind hack for you to know Losing this particular process is part of the process of me actually winning. So on my way to my winning, there will be some losses. And those losses are part of my path to get to my winning. <coughs> Sorry about that. Let me have some little tea here. So part of getting there that you you have to lose some things to be able to enter into some level of winning. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to come and tell you that, oh, I enjoy losing. Nobody wakes up in the morning and says, oh, oh, look, I want to lose. But when we are in God's plan, when we're in, 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 in his own economy, when we are in his own place, when we are in his own favor, some things will happen that you need to lose to win. Some friendship you need to lose. Some folks you need to lose. Let me tell you, those friends are like weeds in, the, in between a plant. As long as you are among those weeds, they're going to choke you. So you are not going to be able to enter. So you got to, you have to be probably need to lose those people. Those weeds need to go for you to be actually grow. I look at life. There were some losses in my life. There wasn't pretty. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Wasn't pretty at all. I thought I was doing the right thing. I thought I had it all together. I thought I followed all the steps that I needed. I thought I took the precautions required for me not to repeat this class again. But it still happened. But I had to lose those things. And at the time, to be honest, it made no sense. Because there was not that anything was actually going wrong, but it made no sense to lose at that particular moment. So, as the scripture says here, verse 39, he that finds his life shall lose it. So you're holding on to it. Ah, he shall find it, lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. The folks, what we are today, 
that were very risk adverse. We got to a point that everybody is playing defense and no offense. We are trying to take care of territory. Let, let me give you a good analogy. It's like, like the Almighty wants to give you a mansion, but you are not willing to get out of the room. Right? You want to, let's, let's, let's put it to cars a little bit. Let's say you know, let's say you don't know, and you're about to lose one car, and they say you're going to get a Lamborghini for your Camry. But you don't know if the Lamborghini is going to come. But a part of God's plan that you got to lose the Camry first, somebody got to crash into it before you enter into money, or somebody blesses you, or if something happens, then you get a Lamborghini. But you would not know that until you lose that Camry. You will not know that you will not know some blessings until you lose some friends, until you lose some connections. Some doors have to close for some new ones to open. So I look at life. I've seen this happen in my own life. I've been trying to do this YouTube thing forever. But for some reason, when I'm around the wrong people or things happen, I cannot get myself to even record a video because there's life is happening, stuff is happening, people talking, the whole slew of things. Then you step back and say, that situation shape was not what all the crap up to be. Why? What was I looking? I was supposed to lose that thing years ago. Yes, God was calling you to enter much more. But you want to settle for crumbs? Really? Really? Now, he that loses his life will find it. I've lost some things in life and what I gained on the other side may not look like much, but it gave me a perspective that I cannot even realize today. I've probably said this so many times. In the last month or the last three months, the month of 2022, things have been shifting based on the people I am meeting to take me to the next level. Doors have been opened. My mind is actually open more just because there's some things I've lost. And those things that you lost, they're comfortable, right? Friendships, some friendships are comfortable. Then you ain't saying nothing, but you you kind of enjoy just company. Told you this before many other times. When I was, I'm, which I'm back now, we, we're gonna go hard this month, this year, this man, we're gonna get this body back and rocking, man. But when I was really heavy into the gym in the 2015-2016, and I was very, very hard about it, I lost friends simply because I had to lose them for me to actually gain the body that I needed at the time. So, brothers, I beg you in the name of the Lord, when things are happening to you, do not count it as a loss. Count it that, <coughs> what am I willing to gain here? Am I about to lose something to gain something? I don't know. Let me give you a good example. Maybe you've been in some, some bad relationships. What if that person ghosted you 20 years ago? What if that person never showed up at the day? And the real right person who was supposed to, you about to ride with, shows up. But you're never going to know that because you're so infatuated with what you lost. What if everybody said no at a time? So no some losses is a blessing. Uh, bro, I wish I can scream this on the rooftop. Some losses is a blessing. So don't count it all loss when you actually lose. Sometimes it's a setup for you to enter into your winning, for you to enter into your destiny.
that when you get back to the winning plan, and you're gonna go back and say, "Oh, thank you for saying no to me. I appreciate you for losing that that job. I appreciate you for losing that money. I appreciate you for losing this person. I thank you for not coming to my life." You may not even understand. It doesn't even make any sense. But when you get to the other side, who that loses his life, the Bible says, "Will find it. You will find blessings. You will find miracles. You will find doors that are about to open." Brothers, I guess you get the drift. I ain't saying nothing you've not already heard. But I want you to actually let it not just go into your mind, let it go into your heart. And say you when things you lose something, there might be something better. I need the Lamborghini, but I gotta give up the camera. You get the drift. The only way gain, nuggets of wisdom, like, share, hit the notification bell for new content. God bless, I'm out.